as you build your, your knowledge of the different uh, vehicles and use and show that to your uh, customer base online, it's going to start building and building and building. And you're going to get people coming in to you that you've never met, that never met anyone you know, but saw you on, on your Build-A-Brand site or saw you on Facebook, saw you on Instagram. Use every resource, Snapchat, whatever's available, LinkedIn. Use everything available. Even if you're not a master, get someone it, to help I you. Can, yes, I can. New requests are coming in to be my friend. Hey everyone, welcome back to Builder Brand Interviews. This is Cameron Moore and I'm your host. And today we have a pretty awesome guy joining us all the way from Arizona. And uh, Aaron is at Gym Click and he is, uh, he's, he's pretty awesome. So man, him and I have uh, been on the phone many times and he gives me a lot of great ideas. Um, so some of the options that you even see like on the VIP test drive, like bring the test drive to me, um, were his ideas. And so I really enjoy speaking with him. Uh, but before we go ahead and get to know who Aaron is, let's hear a quick message from our sponsor, Builder Brand. Builder Brand is a complete step-by-step self-marketing and branding system that gives you your own personal website with a unique domain, gives you inventory where your customers can schedule their own VIP appointment. And every lead that comes from your website goes to you, no one else. You get your own personal digital business card that gives the customer everything they need right at their fingertips. They're gonna be shopping online, so why not just give them everything they want? You get a video messaging platform, our review system, and a blog content library filled with hundreds of blogs that you could share onto social media to create top of mind awareness for you and your brand. Again, if you wanna learn how to increase your sales, sign up for the free 15 minute session with me so I can show you how Build a Brand can help transform your business. Not only will Builder Brand help you generate and convert opportunities, but your mom will also thank you. And so let's go ahead and get to know you. Um, so go ahead and tell everyone who you are. Yeah, Aaron Greenberg. I'm with Jim Click Automotive. Been here uh, going on eight years. Next month will be my eight year anniversary. Uh, born and raised here in Tucson, Arizona. Did eight years over in the uh, Middle East. Um, and uh, father. And uh, husband, father of three, and I do this for them. That's awesome, man. So that's your why. I definitely, uh, I know that I have actually a photo next to my desk and it says my why. Yeah. And so it's a photo of my family. Um, and I know that can definitely keep you uh, motivated uh, for sure. So let's um, kind of get into, you know, the meat of everything and talk about some of the stuff that um, you do to prospect. So tell me, you know, what, first off, like, what do you like to use and build a brand and how do you use it? Certainly. Um, I do a lot of outside networking. I'm part of a number of networking groups here in Southern Arizona from the Tucson business networking group, uh, business, uh, BNI business networking international and, uh, Hispanic chamber of commerce, Tucson Metro chamber of commerce. So all of that is, is how I get the message out. I, I have close to a thousand people on my, my Facebook, uh, page that, that follow me. So the concept that I use for build a brand, I, I post there, I post to, to different media outlets. This way they're hearing my message on a, you know, two, three times a week, seeing the content that build a brand provides to me and that I provide for myself. I, I use other articles within um, the automotive world to put out through build a brand. So okay. It now brings, so it brings everyone back to me rather than the, our general Jim Quick site. Man, I have a quick question. So, like, you use a combination of, uh, of course, the content library, um, you know, what you're creating and um, some other, you know, stuff out there to really help you. Uh, what do you find to be the most effective um, throughout those three different ways of utilizing it? Well, uh, the funniest one, the one that I got most of the hits on, which is a stupid meme that I found on the internet, uh, following the laws, and it was the uh, curvy sign. Uh, the, the warning sign for skidding uh, or curves, whatever. Right. I got over 20,000 views on that one post that I put on through uh, through my site. It was crazy. I don't know if I have any car sales from it at this point, but it was shared over five, 500 times. So oh my I know that my name, my website is out there in front of people. Um, just so in the future, hey, somebody might see that and go, you know, I need a car from that silly guy. 
I, I try <laughs> I try to make it fun. Uh, car sales should not be difficult, and, and that's one thing that, that I tell everyone. I'm here to help you have a better experience with car purchase. It shouldn't take five, six, seven hours. Um, it should be an easy purchase. I'm here as an auto buying concierge. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here to help you buy. Man, that is a great kind of like, it's like almost like your uh, mission statement and kind of like, uh, you know, what you live by, which is awesome. Now, t- um, now are you strictly just sells? Like, tell, tell us what you, like your position at the dealership. So technically, I guess my position here, my official position is internet sales consultant. Um, but uh, I, I really, that is my secondary. I don't take up, I don't take floor traffic. Unless someone walks up to my desk or a service customer, you know, comes up to my desk and says, hey, can you help me buy? I'm purely internet. Um, I'd say that is a minority of my uh, sales every month. I, I would say three quarters of my sales are, are personal prospects, referrals, and repeat customers. Okay, so man, I, I want everyone to, you know, go ahead and just rethink about what he just said. So you are an internet sales coordinator And, you know, you said about three fourths of your business are coming from prospect referrals. Now, most of the time you don't even see salespeople, you know, doing that. They rely on the kind of up bus. So as a internet sales coordinator, you know, that's pretty unique to be able to be doing some of the stuff that you're doing because most of the time you guys are constantly on the phone, but I see you posting videos. I see Mm -hmm. you going out and taking photos of stuff and, you know, constantly pushing out content. So how do you find time for that? You have to make the time. You know, it, it, you're, you get an internet inquiry person, and they're asked about a certain vehicle. Well, you can refer them to the, uh, the post that we have on online on our uh, Build-A-Brand page that just has stagnant pictures of a vehicle. Or you can take those pictures. You can go take the pictures yourself or just download, download those pictures to your phone and create a video out of it. Um, sometimes you do want to have that live video of the backup camera and whatnot. Uh, maybe you want to show, say you're, you're in a SRT, you want to show the horsepower and the G-forces and everything. Those are things that, that add, you know, an experience to a, a vehicle that, that they can't drive because it's a higher-end vehicle. So right. the, vid- the videos themselves, you know, maybe that vehicle sold a year ago, but it's still a video that they can look at and, and, and experience the, that vehicle um, without actually having to take the test drive. Shoot, you know, I try to, to take a new car, even used cars, um, the, the specialty cars, the, the one-off cars, and make a, uh, a video of those and say, hey, hot item, new to inventory, get it before it hits the front line as we're taking it in on trade. Stuff like that because it's, you want to make money off those uh, cream puffs. Man, that is that is awesome. And, you know, like I, I at the beginning, I mentioned that you you kind of helped with the idea. You, you came up with it. You're like calling me and said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if there's an option for the customer to choose, like uh, when they're scheduling a VIP test drive on the website, wouldn't there be cool if that option was to bring the test drive to me? And Absolutely. I was like, man, that's awesome. And I, you know, like, what do we make that look like? And I think uh, right. we ended up settling with a phone, kind of like someone, you know, yeah, you know, scheduling Come, coming, scheduling a test drive off the phone. Is, yeah, really, really cool. Yeah. Coming to me. You know, it, it's really important for me, um, especially as an internet coordinator. I've heard for the last seven, eight years, get them here, get them here, get them here. I hate the manager. That, that's the constant thing. Get them in the showroom. I have a better chance of, of closing a deal in their living room or in their office than in my office because they're in their comfort zone. So, Whenever I'm on my, my phone call with a customer, if I can get them on the phone, hey, let me bring it to you. What is the important features you're wanting in the vehicle? I'll shoot them a couple of my uh, Build-A-Brand links and say, hey, how are these two cars? Oh, I like this one. Great. I'm going to bring that one to you. What time is better for you, 145 or 345? Show up at their office, cookies, you know, a couple of my key rings to toss around the office. Here, if you need anything, call me. And... Uh, we, we go for a test drive in the, their comfort, not my safe space. Man, the, the dungeon. So, Aaron, uh, you do, man, I'm just, uh, first off, I'm amazed due to the fact that, um, first, you're an awesome person for sure. Uh, but you're an internet sales coordinator that is doing so much, man. Like, you're really going above and beyond what the average person in your position does. And I remember uh, one time we were speaking and, 
it is about the video messages. So this is kind of getting to follow up with your customers. Sure. You just said it just now, like giving them different options. And so when you structure out that video message, um, it, it sounds like you're putting different links in there to specific vehicles. And, you know, how has that worked out for you? Oh, you know, not everyone can afford, afford that limited, right? Some people have to go with a work truck or some people uh, have to drive your basic Ford Fiesta or maybe a Dodge Journey. You know, it doesn't matter what the brand is. There's different trim levels. So you want to be able to show those different options. If they can actually see it and, and see the usage of it, and oh, I'm not having to settle, I, I still get the safety features in this vehicle without having to, to really stretch to that higher trim level, um, because it's right there in front of them. They can see right. what they want in that vehicle. They don't feel the pressure of, of having to go car to car to car uh, throughout the different dealerships. Oh, man. So, guys, if you, you know, didn't really clearly listen, I want you to stop, rewind it, because Aaron just gave you guys kind of like a golden nugget, right? So, the consumer, they're looking for, uh, you know, that experience that's fun, fast, fast, friendly, convenient, you know, it's fair. And, you know, he's telling you right now what he's doing is making a lot easier for the customer as they go down that customer journey of shopping for a car. He's saying, hey, like, I know you want to shop. I'm going to give you different options and let you make the decision. Because a lot of time, uh, a lot of times, and I'm sure you can agree with me, is salespeople, when a customer is asking to look at one vehicle, they strictly just show that one vehicle. And then when the customer goes somewhere else, they're like, I just don't understand why they went somewhere else. Well, the reality is, is because they want to feel like they've shopped. And right. you're, you're overcoming that objection before it ever happens. And you're saying, right. hey, here's several different examples. And I know you said you wanted to look at this. But, you know, just in case, here are these examples, and you're providing links to them specifically to that one vehicle so they don't have to go and look, and it, it just becomes frustrating for them. So I think that's pretty awesome that you're providing that ease for the consumer um, to go ahead and just look at the vehicles rather than, you know, get overwhelmed. So that's that's awesome. And, um, you know, with that, you know, following up with your customers, I know you use video messages. Um, now, do you also put those inside the CRM? So, you know, there's two ways of doing it. You can send it through the Build a Brand or you can actually copy the link um, and it will, or the copy of content and it will put it right into your CRM. Uh, you still want to format a little, different CRMs work a little differently. So it makes it a little difficult. Um, you want to make it easy for them because that's the whole thing. They're no longer shopping. Uh, people are coming to one, 1 1.3 dealerships when they shop for a vehicle. They know what they want. They know what they're going to buy. At this point, they're shopping for the, the salesperson that's going to treat them the best and they feel most comfortable for it. Um, so the easier you can make it, the quicker you can get to them, uh, actually, the, the more likely you're going to be the winning salesperson than the person down the street. You know, I use it. I, I have every customer, when they're sitting here waiting for finance, hey, do you mind uh, telling people on my website what you thought about the experience before they even have a chance to get jaded by finance because they're still not that high. They, they still, they just bought a car. They're feeling good. Um, use all the tools that you have available from putting the video messages into your emails to taking the time to do a review online. Be it the quick review through Google or the actual video or picture reviews on your own website. Man, okay, you just you just hit like on a huge you know point, and I'm glad we got to this. The reviews, okay. So a lot of people, um, especially when I sold cars, I, I I can say I was a person that was like, I'm not getting a review, right? Like, how does that help me? And the reality is, is it does help you. Um, a lot of people want to look for that instant gratification, but they don't realize that's a long term strategy. And if nine out of 10 buying decisions are made from peer recommendations, then why would you not want those, you know, recommendations or reviews? Um, they're social proof. So you know, using those reviews, have those been beneficial to you? And I like the fact that you said that you get the, you get the customer to kind of get the recommendation right before finance. Um, when they're super kind of pumped up, they just agree to terms and you get them to complete that three question recommendation. And then you said something that a lot of people really don't focus on, but uh, putting that review because it gives them the option simple like just copy and you know click the Google icon to go to your dealership's Google Place ID to leave that review. Um, do you find like has that been beneficial for you? 
I, I can't tell you how beneficial. I have had customers come in and ask me that were never referred to me. They found me on uh, our Google review page for the, the dealership. You know, I'm looking for that for Aaron. He calls himself the ugly bald guy. That's a catchphrase, you know. The, I'm the only ugly bald guy in the dealership. Everybody else has hair, you know. Uh, so, it, it, you know, it, it's, it's really, really, they, they come and ask for me, even though I've never talked to this customer before. Um, they don't know anybody I know, but they, like I said before, people are shopping for their sales members. Yes. And uh, that's, that's something a lot of people don't really you know, think about. Um, everyone needs a friend in the car business, right? Everyone has a specific doctor they go to, um, a lawyer, right? And, and they, they trust their expertise. And you know, a lot of people don't think of it like that when they're trying to help a you know, customer or client you know, find the right vehicle. They just think of it more of a transaction. But you're saying like, hey, I want to be your guy, like your go-to guy. And man, I'll tell you right now, it takes, it takes a a really strong man to, to rock the bald head because uh, I don't know if I could, but you know, maybe one day. Uh, and so I, I think that's really key to what you're doing um, with your customers. And man, that's, that's just awesome. And you've been in the year business eight years. And in those eight years, um, how have you seen the industry change? And like, what, what makes you want to go and do what you're doing now? And why not just stick with like kind of doing what, they did in the past. Sure. It's like I said, it's completely changed. Um, people aren't going to dealerships to dealerships to dealerships anymore. They're going to 1.3 dealerships. I used to, when I first started, I was a green piece sitting at the F spot. I would skate the hell out of everybody because <laughs> I had three kids, young kids, they had needs and, and I was not going to let an opportunity go. Now I, you know, I, I don't take the ups. There aren't ups to be had. The ups that coming through the door are those that are begging to buy a car because their credit sucks. Um, and, and nobody wants those ups, you know. Uh, if you hang out with people that uh, can buy cars, that they're not coming to the dealership during the day. Those people, they're working. Um, you need to be able to, to have a circle of influence that is going to send you, um, going to send you those, those high referrals. No, yeah. And, you know, just so you guys, if you're trying to, you know, really process what Aaron is saying is the fact that you are an influencer among your circle of influence on social media. And, you know, if you're out there posting and, you know, Aaron's out there posting a lot. So he's posting and I'm sure you might have even the schedule of what you're posting um, daily. And, you know, when he is posting, what he's doing is creating top of mind awareness, being at the forefront of the customer's mind. And, you know, he's really reaching them and providing value to them so that when they do think about it, they come to him and the high value customers are the people that are repeats and referrals because they already know, like, and trust you. You're going to have a better ROI and you're going to have, you know, higher CSI scores. You're going to have higher gross. And so you're really focusing on the right um, people to target rather than just focus on price shoppers. Cause they say the average, um, you know, cost per car sold based off NAD is around six hundred forty dollars. And you know, the last uh, episode we talked about uh, the fact that you know that's not really one hundred percent accurate. If, due to the fact, if you look at that cost per car sold, you don't take into account how many times people are going to come in just because they like the brand. How many people came in and bought just because they knew the salesperson? How many people came in and bought because they were referred by the sales? Uh, I referred to the salesperson by someone else, or maybe it was the salesperson's mom or dad. And so now you think about the cost per car sold is around $1,200. And then you're out here building your own business, creating your own opportunities, and then, you know, really getting the referrals and repeat customers, which is basically what you're hired to do. You're hired to get customers on the lot. You're hired to sell cars and retain your sold customers. And so I think we can all look at what Aaron is doing right now and really use that as a guideline on what you should be doing. And plus, he's an internet coordinator. I mean, he's doing stuff that, you know, some of the top salespeople are doing that are actually just selling cars, but he has to be at the phone, right? He has to be answering the phone, but then he's saying, hey, I got time to go do this or do this. And so that's, that's um, really awesome to look at. And I know a lot of people would admire that. And some sales coordinators out there that are listening, uh, if, if you think that you can't do it, this is where you need to look at, you know, Aaron, what he's doing and say, it is possible. It's just a matter of putting your priorities in the right place. Now, Aaron, do you have anything that you want to finish with and, and just say to the people out there? Because there's, there's someone listening right now, um, regardless if they use a product or they don't, 
um, you know, that may be struggling with like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work or like sure. if I can even post social media. So what would you say to that person to help them overcome whatever they're going through? Sure. You know, it's, it's about farming, not hunting. You know, the, when you go out hunting, you're, you're looking for one meal, right? Maybe, maybe a couple of meals. When you're farming, you're planting the seeds for the future. So anytime that you can uh, plan for the future, put that post out there that might go viral, that's going to bring you residual. Be patient because uh, long-term planning takes a lot of patience. You're not going to see that, that immediate return on investment. It might take some time. But as you build your, your knowledge of the different uh, vehicles and use and show that to your uh, customer base online, it's going to start building and building and building. And you're going to get people coming in to you that you've never met, that never met anyone you know, but saw you on, on your Build-A-Brand site or saw you on Facebook, saw you on Instagram. Use every resource, Snapchat, whatever's available, LinkedIn. Use everything available. Even if you're not a master, get someone to help you. It takes very little effort and time to be forefront. The more you post, the higher in the trending that you go, and people will see you first before the others. Man, that is great words of advice from probably the you know most awesome, intense internet sales coordinator I know personally. Hey, man, I want to thank you so much for being on today and sharing what you do and how you're growing your business. And man, again, thank you so much. And if you guys want to check out uh, Aaron, Aaron, how can people follow you? Uh, you know, like tell them your website and your social media. The, the easiest place to go is uh, facebook.com slash Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at A-T, Jim Click, J-I-M-C-L-I-C-K. I post all my content to that Facebook page um, through my Build-A-Brand page. Um, you know, use the Build-A-Brand to post on your different social media platforms. It makes it a lot easier. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening. Um, again, uh, thank you, Aaron, for joining us today. And if you guys have any questions, you can always visit, you know, what Aaron is doing. Like he said, he gave you a link straight to his uh, Facebook and down below in the description. I'll provide a link to his social media and also his website so you can see different examples of what he's doing. So we will catch you guys next time. And thank you so much. They said I couldn't do it, but I can. Yes, I can. New requests are coming in to be my friend. Friend, 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 friend. Build a brand.